things about uh, U.S. policy toward Iran. Um, my analysis is that uh, very significant sanctions have now been imposed on, on the regime. Uh, if you looked at the European Union sanctions that were imposed yesterday, uh, it was basically Europe saying, we are separating from you, Iran. You have not complied. You have not made any steps to comply. And uh, we don't want your cargo aircraft here. We don't want to give you insurance. We are not selling any parts to your oil, energy sector. These are very sweeping, particularly those of you who follow the EU, which is always very cautious and not really in favor of punishments and sanctions. These are very sweeping sanctions coming on top of U.S. legislation that was uh, signed by President Obama on July 1 and the U.N. Resolution 1929 that was enacted uh, in June. Uh, <clears throat> it, is, it is very clear the regime is, is deeply off balance by these sanctions. Uh, clearly, I think these sanctions are working much faster and more extensively than anybody predicted. Uh, and the regime is in, uh, well, which already has a burgeoning domestic opposition. Obviously, this meeting is part of that, uh, that trend. That, that trend has expanded well beyond, I would say, uh, and, and is, is very broad right now. We had a major strike in the Tehran Bazaar that lasted two weeks uh, and other cities. So uh, the regime uh, is, is, I believe, uh, my analysis, personal view, is, is very much off balance. And, uh, and we're starting to see, I think, a, a real global consensus uh, on the Islamic Republic of Iran right now.